This is Ron Palou with NetSmart Technology, and I welcome you to Airs, Closed Clients and Agency. This online video tutorial will review how to specify both agency and program closure reasons to be used for the client closures, how to specify the period of inactivity used to determine the pool of clients selected for closure, how to generate a CSV file of clients that will be closed along with dates of last activities, and finally, perform the bulk update of client status from active to closed. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are uh, logged into AIRS. If we then navigate to the system menu, we can then go down to close clients and agency. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see that we have three different tabs, standard, advanced, and also view users logged into AIRS. Should there be users currently logged into AIRS while using this feature, they will need to either log out and log back in or refresh their client list in order to see the updates that have been made. Looking at the standard option, uh, this option will allow for the update of client statuses from active to close based upon the inactivity period specified. It will apply the default agency closing reason to the agency status and default program closing reason to any active program enrollments. So here we can go through, select our default agency closing reason. I'll choose 98, administrative closure. Default program closing reason. Same here. Uh, inactivity period, so I'll put three years. So here we get a message, clients without any activity since will be selected. Choose to include anonymous clients, and then also include client names. Uh, this refers to the CSV file that is generated, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Now we can click begin and we get this pop-up box, number of clients in pool. How would you like to proceed? So here we have a couple options. We can just go through, close all the clients that were found, or we can also uh, export the list of clients found to a CSV file. So some agencies uh, may want to review the clients first before proceeding with the closure. So if we choose that option first, Click proceed. Here we're asked to save it to our location. So I'll just say the temp to Fran folder. And here we can see that it was copied and click OK. OK, looking here in the temp to Fran folder, we can see the file airs clients to close. Uh, we can double click. And here we can see the list of clients that will be closed uh, when we run the feature. Uh, we can see the client ID, last name, first name, agency closing reason, program closing reason. And then as we scroll along, we can also see uh, the dates of last activities that were provided to the clients. Once the CSV file has been reviewed, uh, we can then return to the feature, click begin again, and this time we can choose the top option, close all the clients that were found. From here, if we click on proceed, we get a pop-up message, processing was successfully completed. Um, the final will be to select a folder to store the activity log. So. We do get another CSV file showing all the clients that were uh, closed. Put that in the temp to frame folder. Okay, we get this little message here. The list was copied to. And click OK. 
All right, looking here again at the temp to fran folder, we see the file, heirs, clients that were closed, and this can just be stored for future reference. The other option of the closed clients and agency feature is the advanced option. This allows the agency to import the CSV file created with the standard option with updates. Perhaps there are clients you want to exclude from closing out at this time, or perhaps you want to modify the agency or program closing reason codes for certain clients. The advanced option would give you this flexibility. The advanced option also allows the user to create an empty CSV file that can be used to close accounts. This would be updated through manual entry. Should an agency be considering using the advanced option, it is highly recommended that they contact NetSmart support for detailed guidance. Remember, should a client return for services at your agency or have been closed in error, the closed status can always be removed or the client can be reopened. So here in Client Information and Services, I have one of the clients that was closed using the utility selected. We would then navigate to Enrollments and Assignments, Status Changes. Here we see the closure. And we can then just click on Add, enter the effective date, enter the time, and then we come down to Status Code, Case Reopened, and click on Save. Thank you for joining us for this online video tutorial of the Closed Clients and Agency feature. Please visit our website, www.airsny.org, for our full video tutorial library and other training resources.